everyone, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window. I am so thankful that you stopped by today to quilt with me. Today we're making block number 12 for our mystery quilt. I am so excited for you. Oh, girls, you have been posting beautiful pictures of your quilts, your blocks, and working so hard, calling me, texting me, telling me how much fun you have. I want to send a special shout out to Christina. We were just on the phone talking about the quilt and she was sharing with me how much fun she's having. So keep going. We have only a few more blocks to go and you have a beautiful quilt to put together from those blocks. Our block 12 is cut from squares and rectangles. You have two blue squares, one pink, three dark blues and two lights. Those are two inch squares. Then you have four rectangles in light, two by three and a half. I'm so excited for you. I can't wait to cut your fabric and start making this beautiful block with me. I start by completing the center of my block first that cute little four part right here. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my pieces, fold them right sides together, just like this, and you're gonna be making four block number two, four of them. You're gonna zoom, 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 stitch beautifully using quarter inch seam allowance. This unit's gonna look just like this, see? I'm gonna push my seam allowance towards the blue, push my seam allowance towards the blue right here. Then I'm gonna place those together just like this. Wonderful. Use my pins and I'm using the patchwork pins with glass heads. They're my favorites. I'm gonna sew it right here. As soon as I finish sewing, I can open it up and I have my center four patch. And just like before, you're gonna open the seam in the back and create a beautiful four patch. Now it's gonna be time to sew the remaining pieces and I'm going to start by adding two rectangles on a side. Do you see what I just did? I placed it right sides together, sew it, flip it open. The seam allowance will be pushed towards this, towards the rectangle, light rectangle. Do the same thing on this side, right sides together, sew it, flip it open. Wonderful. Then I have to complete that bottom part. Sew the pink to the rectangle, sew the blue squares to the rectangle, flip it open. This seam allowance will be pushed towards the rectangle. I have one already done right here for you. Look at how cute. Let's flip it back. See the seam allowance is pushed towards the rectangle in the center right there. And the same thing on the top unit. Right sides together, sew it. Right sides together, sew it. And in no time, you have the top unit completed as well. Oh, this seam allowance wants to push the other way, but no, we have to push it towards that rectangle. We're gonna place this right sides together, just like this. Notice how nice the seams are locking right here. I'm gonna put a pin pin right those in those spots, sew it, pull my pin as I'm sewing, pull it away and now flip it open, press it and do the same thing on this one as well. Oh, look at this. In no time we have created a beautiful block 12 and you know the routine. As soon as you finish your block, pull up your sleeves, grab a rotary and a ruler and i'm using the six and a half inch uh, ruler it's so cute from creative grits i really like it i'm gonna place it right over my block and then with my rotary i'm gonna trim it around it it has been so much fun to make this block and remember as soon as you finish one you have to make three more for total of four blocks number 12. I am so excited for you. We are slowly coming to the end of our wonderful, wonderful quilt alone and we're having so much fun. Don't forget, as soon as you finish your block, go to my website at laundrybasketquilts.com, uh, visit my blog, and on the blog you have a layout where to position your block. 
pay attention to those blues and those pinks and the light blues. So position it so you have the shading of blues coming out from the center. Oh, this mystery quilt is coming so good together and slowly is going to be unveiled. I hope you're enjoying the results of your hard work for last few days and looking forward to finishing your beautiful project. Make sure you stay healthy, stay inside, and if you have some fabric and some time, please make some masks. Thank you so much for quilting with me and I look forward to see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.